What's going on everyone? Welcome back to yet another video here on my channel and welcome to episode 2 of my new shred series. You remember that last time when I showed you how many calories and macros I'm consuming in a day? So this equals exactly 2689 calories and this is what I'm going to be consuming at the start of my cut when I'm training. Well today I'm going to show you what foods am I eating to get these calories in and also everything will be on the screen whenever I'm eating something. So calories, macros, everything will be on the screen. And by the way, my meals are around five or six. I haven't counted them. Yeah, there are five, but that's pretty much enough for me to get those calories in. I'm not implementing intermittent fasting or anything like that. I'm eating from morning to the evening. Now let's get to the full day of eating without further ado. By the way, I know that you've taken your popcorn to watch my video, which I really appreciate, but if you want to go pee, now is the time, because... Yeah, that's why. So I hope you listened to my advice. And if you haven't, then I hope that you are enjoying the video. That's it. <laughs> One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, everyone, that's meal number one. And as you can see, it looks really dense, actually. And it is, especially in carbs, as you can see here, where the macros and the calories are. Yes, pretty dense in carbs, as I said. But, however, this is not only because it's my breakfast, but also because it's my pre-workout meal. And that's why I have so many carbs. Usually, I won't have that much because, after all, I'm cutting. But... However, now I'm going to enjoy that meal and I know what you're thinking. No, I'm not usually eating like that with my back facing the TV. No, I usually prefer to watch TV while eating, but the lighting is coming from there, the windows are there. However, I'm going to enjoy that meal and I'm gonna see you later with meal number two, which is also my post-workout meal. All right, guys, what you're currently looking at is me preparing my third meal. I know I said that I'm going to see you with meal number two, but meal number three is my post-workout meal, so I'd rather have it ready at home. I just measured 180 grams of smashed white rice, and now I'm washing it. I know it sounds like a lot, but don't worry, I'm not going to eat the whole thing. Today, I'm going to separate it in two halves, and therefore, 90 grams are for tomorrow's post-workout meal. After I've washed the rice, I'm adding water, as the water added should be twice as much as the rice is, and just like that, with the snap of my fingers, my rice is ready. Just like in Infinity War, the only difference is that I didn't kill anybody, I just made my rice while Thanos killed half of the population. And I don't know why I'm saying that, maybe I shouldn't have said it because you may have not watched the movie. Well then... Spoiler alert! Or is it too late to say that? Well, you should have watched already. All right, everyone, I made some rice for my third meal and now I'm preparing my second meal, which actually isn't a meal. It's just a protein shake right here that will keep me alive until I come back home and will give me some fat digesting protein after my workout. But however, it's not actually a meal. It just has 21 grams of protein in it and nothing else. And this is something that doesn't make the meal, but however, I'm gonna see you right after my workout session. All right, everyone, I survived my way home. And if you ask yourselves, why do I say survive? Because look at this. I'm not sure if you can see something from the camera, but it's raining really heavily outside. Now I'm sure that you can't see anything, but do you hear that? The rainfall and the thunders. Well, however, I survived. Now let's proceed to meal number three because I'm starving. Now here is a very simple trick, as you can see here is my cooked rice, now I'm measuring it all in a plate and this time it turns out to be 560 grams, so from 180 it turns into 560, now I'm going to divide 560 by 2 and I get 280, so that's how much I'll eat today in order to eat the plant 90 grams of rice and the other 280 in cooked condition are going to be for tomorrow, simple as that. Alright guys, for meal number 3 I'm going to have some low fat pork burgers which I made myself, well not actually my mom made them, but however, uh, also I'm going to have some rice or as much rice as there is in the plate because most of it was on the worktop, but however, as much as is, as is left in my plate, 
I'm going to eat it and also I'm going to have some broccoli on the side for some veggies, some greens there, some minerals and vitamins, you know, all that good stuff. Now guys, I'm going to enjoy that meal and I'm gonna see you for meal number four. If you think about it, that's my first successful transition for the day, so yeah. But what I forgot to tell you is that these are the calories and the macros for the meal. Yeah. Now I'm going to enjoy the meal. See you later. Here is my fourth meal. It's going to be amazing because every single one of my other meals today and during my gut, I hope. And yes, I know that in the morning I said that I'm going to have five meals for the day, but because I'm not very hungry, I'm going to have this meal and my other meal separately. So I'm going to have six meals today. However, I'm going to enjoy this now. Here are the calories and the macros for the meal. I'm going to just start eating and I'll see you later, guys. All right, everyone, now I'm going to have my dinner. And yes, I know that you're confused because it's bright after all, but let me explain. But just firstly, let me get rid of that uniform because I hate it. All right, so here is what happened. Focus. Yeah, you focused. So here is what happened happened actually. Well, it's the very next day and it's the very next day because actually when I was shooting the full day of eating, after I ate my eggs, I realized that I had to study a lot for my school. So actually I just started studying right away and now it's the very next day and I just came back from school. However, I'm just going to finish the video because I want to do so. Now I'm going to show you what I would have had for dinner that day and I am also going to show you a little dessert that I make after my what was going to be a dinner because I can't get my calories and macros from my dinner right away so I make a dessert which is both pleasurable and macro friendly and stuff so I love it however now I'm going to finish the video by showing you what I eat and by showing you the calories and the macros for it let's go there all right here we are here is what I'm going to have right now you can see here would have been my dinner but now it's my lunch as you can see there are some potatoes here on the side there is also some chicken and some brussels sprouts even though I would really, I really usually prefer broccoli but however now I'm going to have some brussels sprouts with some extra virgin olive oil on top and however when I have this I'm going to have some of this right there, this is some dessert, uh, this is some yogurt with some chia seeds, also you can see some hazel hazelnuts right there and there is also some cinnamon as well as some stevia for some sweetness because it's usually tasteless if I don't add stevia so like that it's amazing and however this will be my dinner here are the macros right there on the wooden kind of wall for the whole dinner on the left are the macros and the calories for the chicken and the potatoes and on the right are the calories and macros for the dessert however now let's get back to my room all right guys that was the video I really hope that you enjoyed it I'm sorry for that kind of short ending but I really have to start studying and editing the video because I promised some of you to upload the video by Monday and I'm already kind of late so I better start editing and studying here and there but however I really thank you for watching I hope that you enjoyed the video and of course if you did you know what to do smash the like button if you like to do so or just press it like a normal person would do but we ain't normal so you should smash the thing and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the little notifications bell right there so you can see my upcoming videos again guys thank you for watching if you haven't understood anything just let me know in the comment section down below i will answer your questions right away now thank you for watching stay healthy stay positive and i'll see you in the next one